In this video, we will create my custom greetings card. It adapts to the current user and features four additional person cards. Here you can see it in action. If you are interested in the full code, you can find a link in the description. As always, please make sure you have button card installed. Let's start with building the card. First, we add a new button card and basically delete everything. For the entity, we will use some JavaScript code that uses the name of the user to find the right person entity. Be careful, this only works if the name and entity ID are equal and just one word. If that doesn't work for you, you can also set the person entity manually. After that, we will create four variables for the other person entities. We will use these later. The name gets some JavaScript code as well. We want to talk to the user directly, so we add the name of the current user. For the label, you can put whatever you want. I put welcome home here, but you could show the state of another entity here if you wanted to. For the configuration of the card, we set show entity picture and show label to true. The tab action is more info. When the person entity is not at home, I want the picture to be black and white. For that, we add the state attribute and style the entity picture with a grayscale filter. Here you can see how it looks. Let's style the card. We add some basic padding and set background and box shadow to none. For the grid template areas, we set icon and name followed by four custom fields. I just call them 1, 2, 3 and 4. We can copy this whole thing and paste it again. In the second row, we want to show the label instead of the name. For grid template rows, we set min content. The grid template columns is more involved. Each picture of the card gets 50 pixels and the name and label section gets 1 FR. The name gets justify cell start, align cell center, font weight 700, font size 15 pixel and padding left 15 pixel. For the label we basically set the same, just a font size of 12 pixel and font weight of 500. We also set color to contrast 14. In entity picture we set the size of the picture to 40 pixel and the border radius to 12 pixel. We set the same for IMG cell with the addition of background color contrast 1. Let's add our first custom field. The name is 1 and we add another custom button card. For the entity we return the variable person 1. Show name we set to false and show entity picture we set to true. We set the same state attribute as before but with the addition of opacity 0.5 to make the picture even more dark when the person entity is not at home. The styling of the card is very simple. For the card we set the background and box shadow to none and for the entity picture and the IMG cell we basically copy the same attributes as before. Now our first person card is ready. Because we want to stack the person's pictures slightly on top of each other, it is important when they are drawn. The first image needs to be drawn last. For that we copy the whole code and paste it on top of the first custom field. We only have to change the name and the variable to make it work. Let's do that two more times and then we have all four person images on the card. As I said, we want to stack the images slightly on top of each other. For that we will move them to the right one by one. On custom field 3, we add a margin left 12 pixel to the card styling. We can copy this and move to custom field 2. Here we add margin left 40 pixel. And on the first one, we add margin left 60 pixel. As you can see, the images are now slightly overlapping. And with that, our custom greeting card is done. I hope you enjoyed the video and got some inspiration for your own dashboard. If you are interested in the full code for this card, you can find the link in the description. I just started this YouTube channel, so if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos in which I create more custom cards, show off cool Hux cards and a tour of my personal dashboard. I also plan on doing some live streams in the future where we can design cards together. Thanks for watching.